Hey guys, welcome back. I uh, decided to do another mining trip, and this is the end of the hallway, this block right here. So there would have been two stone blocks right here, and then I saw one coal block, and I was like, might as well. So I mined it, and right there is diamonds. So, get your coal, guys. Don't just miss the coal. I am so happy that I actually looked at that coal. Sweet, four diamonds. Because you all know, the more diamonds, the better. So anyway, uh, I thought I'd start this episode off with, uh, by saying, um, yeah, the slime spawner, hopefully done. Quite a long episode last time. Um, still have lots of editing to do on it. It's not uploaded yet. Um, because there was a lot of work. And I recorded most of it. Um, so that slime spawner should be working now. I'm not on peaceful anymore. I turned it on peaceful to build the thing because I didn't want monsters getting in my way and killing me. And the trips, I was going back to my place like ten times, and it just would have gotten annoying. So, um, oh redstone. Sorry, I'm not really talking here. So, today, um, now that I have uh, melon seeds and pumpkin seeds, I thought I'd make a um, a really rough automatic one. Um, it's going to be obviously temporarily. I want one where the pistons won't be able to be seen, and it'll push the dirt up. Um, uh, sort of like Ethel's Lab one, but a bit different. But, yeah, and I'd also like to get another warp farm day done today, so I'm probably going to get uh, the nether warp farm done today, and then I'll do the melon. I'll see if I can get them both done. We'll see. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I figure we'll take an enchantment break with this new diamond pickaxe. Ooh, unbreaking and efficiency. All right. Definitely be using this one. Okay, guys, so I didn't do too much recording uh, for the Nether Wart farm because it's kind of uh, boring to just see someone build uh, with stuff. I don't know. But I will make a tutorial for this. It's Ethel's Lab's design. Ethel's Lab. Um, and it's personally my favorite design. I had it in peaceful because gas were. Yeah, they're right back, aren't they? Anyway. Um, basically what it does is when one of these, or all of these, are full grown, so probably what I'll do is I'll AFK in the nether in a safe spot, and then all these will grow, and then you press this button, and it all shifts over one, and then shifts over back, and all the nether wart is on the ground, and you just pick it up. Um, so yeah. And, yeah, that's basically what it is. I made two of them doesn't take too much redstone. Uh, we have a smart piston over here, which basically what it does is every time a block is pushed in front of it, it automatically pushes it instantly. So, yeah. I have to go to the cat litter and clean the fridge. Um, but I'll be back. Don't worry, guys. And um, we'll work on um, making this place look a bit nicer. This nether house thing. So, see you in a second. Okay, so I did my chores and I left uh, I left my character AFK on peaceful mode just so I could grow some of these to show you. So basically what you do is you just click the button. There we go. This one's working. That was weird. Um, and it basically just all falls off. So let's try this one again. Must be something with... Uh, I believe that this block needs to get an update, so this should work. Yeah, there we go. So that block, once it's updated, works. Okay. And so now we should have more than, oh yeah, we have way more than we started with. I started with 40. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go get s collect some more of this stuff. Another brick. Uh, and then, so I can collect some, 
you know, like so this will grow. And then I'm going to go get some more sandstone. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I gathered some materials and I ended up getting three stacks and two sandstone. I still have these sandstone slabs and I got four stacks of nether brick and I just gathered some glowstone because I was there. So. Place these torches with glowstone to give these nether warts a bit more light uh, directly on top of them and to give uh, the actual whole room itself a bit more light. <coughs> so. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of look I'm going for here. I, I know that I want this to be kind of like a main hallway and then over where I built that circle up there, that'll be like a train station to take me to the nether, or sorry, the, um, what are they, what's it called, the, uh, the spawn room, the, uh, for the blaze, the blaze spawn room. So I believe it's going to be like this. With a too high entrance. One of the things I was interested in doing was actually building it up all the way, so when you're inside, it looks like a majestic large wall. Oh. So, I'm going to do that. But from the outside, it doesn't have to look too good. Actually, I want it to look a bit, like, at least pretty from the outside. I'm going to have to hide some of this redstone wiring and what not? Oh, shit. <laughs> Falling off everywhere. Ugh. One sec, guys. Sorry. Um, okay. Finish this off. Uh, should I? Yeah, that's how I'll do it. I just want to kind of block this off. I don't want gas coming in. That's one of my main things, is I really don't want to have to deal with gas in this nether fort. Or, in, like, yeah, I guess it's called a nether fort. I don't know. Like, my nether home. Because gas are just, like, you just, I don't like them. And I like that they're in game. Like, I think they're so creepy and cool. But as a mob, I like them. But as a player, from the player's perspective, they're so annoying. They're just they're just the natural griefers. Or I guess creepers are the natural griefers, but and they're so creepy. I can hear them right now. They're going <coughs> So probably what I'm gonna do is make this look nice with Sandstone trim. Uh, I want this in here because this is like my. any good way to do this. I'll probably like this. Oh yeah, that'll work. Alright. Um, I don't, it doesn't have to be too fancy. Uh, it just has to kind of be nice to, to see when I come here. I don't want to be looking at, like, gross netherrack all the time. And chances are I'll probably have to if I'm going out on a on things, but I have a cool idea for a tunnel system uh, that I actually wanted to do. Now that the stairs can be put upside down with that new update, I have a cool idea to uh, to make a neat little transportation uh, device thingy. 
Um, but I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna pull it off. If I'm not quite sure if um, if rail railroads uh, can can go in them. So I'll have to look at that. Just fixing this. Um, I really like the look of sandstone and nether, oops, nether brick put together. It just looks really nice. Um, it also looks nice with grass. Multiple other blocks too. Chances are I'm gonna probably run out of nether wrecks, or um, what is it called? Sandstone. Yep. <coughs> but I use my slabs because I'm lazy. Oh, come on. Oh, wrong. Oh, my God. There we go. I'm really happy with this pickaxe. I'm not going to lie. And I think maybe a bit of a trim. Or should I just... Yeah, I'll just fill it in. I'll be back once I finish this off a little bit better. Okay, so I finished off my nether base thingy. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just nether uh, brick, just covering it. I might do something with it later, but for now, it's, I'm going to leave it as. Um, <coughs> this thing, nether farm, nether, uh, nether, uh, nether wart, nether wart farm is quite uh, quite efficient in my opinion so now I'm gonna go make um, an automatic melon farm so I'll be back in a second I'll probably replace this wheat farm with it so see you in a minute 